All right, so I got a call from Clayton from Sawdust and Lug Nuts. Him and Hunter Cox from Fab Rats. They're headed down to fix a skid steer that the belts came off of it for the hydraulic pump. So Kian and I are headed down to help them. All right, so we're almost there. We're just out here in a place called Lutherwood, I guess. Here's what it looks like out here. It's kind of cool. We're just trying to find this big archway that we're going to find the skid steer by so we can work on it. Maybe we'll see some deer. Maybe. See some elk even, maybe, too. I think that's the arch right there. That's the arch right there. That's the one. There's a deer right there. See it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bailing off the hill, huh? I got that one on video. That was cool. There's the archway. So, there's the skid steer. It's broke down. There yeah, there's Hunter. <laughs> Coming to help us out. <laughs> <laughs> He's flexing. Flexing his truck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm here with Clayton from Sawdust and Log Nuts. He's my uncle. I'm here to help him out today. We're going to get this belt put in his skid steer and get it back on the road. And here's Hunter coming to help us out too. Get yeah. us all set up. What's going on? Looks like we got the right belt finally. Yeah. We'll get her put on there real quick. See we totally could have just right. glued them together. <laughs> just glue them. Yeah. We tried doing it and it was just keep popping them off. We could do one for about 10 seconds and then it would turn it or roll it off. It huh? Yeah, if, the, if they aren't hooked together, it'll yeah. let them walk off because the way the exactly. shape of the pulleys are. So. so the cavalry just showed up. I'm here with Hunter and uh, Jesse from. Knows Family Garage and Kean's Hello. Keenan. Keenan's Kean cameraman. Is uh, <laughs> swinging the camera. Mike. Hey, you're multitasking today. Yeah, I, I am. I know how that feels. <laughs> that sped up over the first one. We'll see how this goes. You can, and you it can rotates, get right in here with us if you it want rotates, to. It um, rotates. Uphill, so. so you put it on the bottom first and roll yeah, it up in. I think if we bump okay. the motor, harder to get on this back one with three of them. Yeah, Heck I yeah. know. <laughs> Do we need to get that this out of the way? It's going. It's on there. Are you rolling it on one rib at a time on the front? Or are you trying to go all of them and then just roll the back one on a little at a time? I don't know. What do you think? Um, we might be able to just roll the whole dang thing on, maybe. Or do you have to do it one at a time? Um, it's a possibility, but I get it on all of them up front and then just get the first one started. It might just walk over if you bump it. Okay. Is it all the way on? It's all the way on. It's, hey. I don't think it's on the... That's how you have to do it. You roll it on the back and you have to roll it backwards again. Remember how we did it last oh, time? Oh, yeah. I put a bar right in there and just bump it over a little bit and it'll go, I think. I think we can actually get it all the way in all the grooves like that. I can turn... I can turn that here. flywheel. Get a crescent wrench and throw it right here on these little lifts and twist it around if you want. You got a crescent wrench right there or something. Or even, or that blue pipe wrench right there. Just get it and put it on the I was using that. Uh, just I'll, don't mash my fingers off. Yeah. <laughs> I was using a, a lag. Just Maybe not going in lag. The, here, grab that blue. Yeah. This thing out here, one of these. Check this out. This might work. This will like work on the fan. See this? Just put it on the fan. Hey, look at that. That's why Jesse gets paid the big bucks. And you gotta, yeah, but now it's off the... Then you have to roll it back the other way. Because it's still off on the, the bottom. Stinking we'll get it back on there. Idler. Yeah, we might be able to put that bar in right here. Push down on that and just roll it underneath the idler since it's on all the... Holy... Where am I? Oh, there's the hose clamp. I think that's been failing for a while. Probably. Are you on the back one? 
it rolled off the back one now. cover that snaps on the snaps over the belt or do I need it probably uh -huh. we can put it in there that'll stay there by itself now I just got it sit in there yeah, let me go grab it and it back throw her in lift up a little bit back. did you tighten those clamps I tightened this one up I haven't done that one yet okay. I just did that one to hold that where's this one go it goes right underneath oh, I see and this bracket goes with it I think that's the nut on the back. No? Yeah, I'm not sure. No, the nut's in the body, so if I go to the front, it looks like this tightens up over it. So it goes in the middle? No, it goes on the outside, because I can see where the post oh, been okay. tightening up gotcha. over it. Oh, okay, gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. So, now that we got the skid running, we just gotta lift those two soldiers up and get the bands around it, and then we can go home. Enjoy our Saturday. Enjoy a Saturday, what's that? <laughs> Charge dirt bike. That'd be fun. Tighten up this other clamp here on the little baby turbo. <laughs> <laughs> Drivers, I don't think I have any in my bag with me. Looks to me like the hydraulics bled off. Yeah, they do over time. I need to go put the bucket on and finish filling the holes. That's tight, that's tight, all the bolts are tight. Everything's done. this thing's out of level. It's out about four inches. Yep, so we'll need to push it forward with the skid and then we need to tamp behind this with the big rock bar. There you go. We're
kind of surgeon. It's not filling. Bring the cameras down here. Kind of feeling like a surgeon. Yeah. Like a water filter. This thing is feeling like it's kind of surgeon. It's just kind of poo. That's could probably water you feel. Could water do that? Yeah. It wouldn't be like uh, the sensor. Does this have a map mass airflow on it? Is that what that plug no, was? No, that's just uh, that sensor. It regulates the pressure of what your engine's trying to suck in if your filter's dirty, your air filter's dirty. The filter's brand new. So. Like it, and it should pop up up there if that's dirty. Is there okay. a filter light up there for the water? Um, I don't see like one. It's over here somewhere maybe. So Kean and I decided to stick around and help Hunter and Clayton get these last couple pieces put up so that they could get out and enjoy their Saturday as well like we were trying to. So stay tuned and keep watching as we get this whole thing That's finished right up there. real That's quick. So stay. grab the can. <laughs> Giving Hunter a little skid steer action here, so let's we'll see how he does. Better stand back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just hit the yellow one. Not the Big enough. That'll be perfect. Oh, oh. Man, that's what I was saying. It's gonna oh, yeah. get away from you. I think I'm in my throat. I think so. Wood chips coming up. Yep, yeah. you're good. <laughs> Let me shut my door or somebody. Yeah, that would make a great day, huh? Drive home with your door in the back of the truck. <laughs> okay, now you take the hammer and bend that around as we go. To keep it level. Right there. Hold on, hold on. Hey, 
big icy wood chips now. It's okay, big. now. Now on an angle, pull it, put it in the same no, hole. No, put it in the same hole. You, you don't want to put it a little bit this way and cock it over to pull the band tighter? No. Okay. Because it's going to follow that hole anyway. That's good. Now, we cut that off right there. Is that out of battery? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The story of my life. Shoot. So instead of putting these back in the box. Need Harbor Freight to give us a bunch of batteries. Then we have plenty. Yeah. So what height do you think look best? About? Is it dead too? <laughs> yeah. Jeez. This says it's still got power though, full. It's unplugged. Oh, it missed it. There you go. There's a bad connection. So. Now what do you do? Flatten that out now? Yep. Flatten that back in. Okay. What do you think of that? Does that look good? Oh, uh, yeah, I think that's about good right there. That gets it up off the ground high enough, but still down about middle. Does that so. look okay, Hunter? I think it looks good. Put a little lag in it before right. it gets away. Before it gets away. <laughs> now, come on around. Right. Now put a Put a hole right there. Another one? Yeah. I like that smell. That's up the man. Grinder smell? Yeah. 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 Does that help you? I like it. That looks so good. Mm, it looks way good, huh? Yeah. So where's the tape measure? Yeah, get big enough for this to be. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, whatever's there. Well, that's a wrap. How many days has it been? Well, if we wouldn't have broke down, we'd have been done the first day. But yeah. this is the. Third or fourth day, you came and helped. Uh, tried to put the single belts on, didn't work. So, how many of these do you think you've built? How many archways do you think you've made? Uh, Fifty or sixty, maybe. Maybe. Heck yeah. Maybe a little more. I've done a lot. I've been in business since '97, so I've done a few. Awesome. Now it looks like we can go work on the Challenger now. Heck yeah. Heck yeah, I'm car. ready for that. You ready? To <laughs> Let's go yeah. work on the Challenger. Then we'll awesome. go cruise the Nova some more. There we go. I want to thank uh, Jesse from Nose Family Garage and Hunter from Fab Rats coming up and helping me get the skid running and getting this archway done. Please like, share, and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.